Social media already destroyed the many souls of the world. So what if we just enter a new reality that's a thousand times more saturated? This type of gear is currently being created by real people in real life. Alright, welcome to a new video. If you're here for the first time, I suggest you subscribe because I make this kind of content. If you like this video, you're gonna like the other ones too, pretty much, yeah. Anyway, I'm gonna talk about the progression of VR technology and its connection to a certain movie that I'm gonna get to later. So, basically, VR started out as some kind of a dream, I guess. People thought of it as a fun idea, like, oh yeah, maybe in like 200 years we're gonna be able to enter a second universe or some shit. Then VR headsets were released, bad resolution, bad field of view, and then it progressed further, we got better headsets, and now we're here today, I got a Valve Index, it's the best one that, that exists currently, right? Today, you can track your entire body smoothly, pretty much perfectly. The way I'm moving around in the game right now is the way that I am moving in real life. Characters are coded to make mouth movements when I'm talking through the microphone, and you're essentially escaping reality. VR has progressed very far. The real question is, will VR progress so far that it will essentially occupy all senses be able to escape reality entirely? I think that's a great possibility. And there's a movie specifically about that. I mean, it's, uh... It's kind of about that, at least. Ready Player One, a movie about some guy who lives in a shit place, right? Everything looks like a dumpster. In the movie, VR is displayed as this technology that took over the world and made people forget about reality. They don't care if they live inside a dumpster because the technology of VR is powerful enough to make them not give a shit. The movie shows a few uh, types of gear that is being used. So, the main character, Wade, goes into this broken van, and he's got all his gear, right? Goes on this omnidirectional treadmill, which is just a treadmill, but you can run everywhere, like, in, in every direction, you know? Puts on a pair of gloves that look just like a regular pair of gloves, puts on the headset, and he's in this universe. Later in the movie, he gets this suit that allows you to feel everything, like if you get shot. The reason why I'm talking about all of this gear is because this type of gear is currently being created by real people in real life. So we are clearly headed in that direction. So that brings up the title of this video. How close are we to Ready Player One? Now, all this talk about how we've got all the gear that is showcased in Ready Player One might make it seem that we're close to getting there, right? And that's what I've always thought. But here's the thing. Technology isn't that advanced yet. It might seem like it just because we have the gear, but the gear must work properly, and the sensation of actually getting shot must be realistic. The advanced gear of VR today is made up of prototypes that haven't been polished well, and the fact that it's a very advanced piece of technology to be thinking of creating makes it seem far away from becoming a standard today or in a few years. Anyway, it sounds great when you talk about them separately, but when you add them together and you try to use all of this gear at once, shit becomes problematic. The software doesn't go well together, and that's just another reason why it'll take a long time to implement this. There's another YouTuber that already tried to use all of this gear that you can use for VR because he wanted to create Ready Player One using the gear that we have today, and it didn't work out. Well. His video proves that the technology isn't exactly there yet. All this software that's being used to connect these things together, they don't work well combined. But let's think of it this way. What if? What if the gear worked well? We have the gear, assuming that the companies that are creating this future of VR will keep doing what they're doing. There will most likely be a day when this all comes together and you can have an extremely immersive experience. All the software is just a simple program that adds everything together just like Steam VR. You boot up the game, it's just fantastic. But it brings up another question. What is this going to do to humanity? It's gonna kill society the way technology already killed society, right? Social media already destroyed the many souls of the world. So what if we just enter a new reality that's a thousand times more saturated? It's amazing, it's also terrifying. Like the video, subscribe, cause you know you want to, and I'll post another video soon. See ya.